In this video, we're going to talk about equivalent capacitance and how we could find it. So let's start with our first example. Let's say if we have a circuit that contains two capacitors in parallel. What is the equivalent capacitance? So let's say the first capacitor has a value of 10 microfarads and the second capacitor has a value of 20 microfarads. What is the equivalent capacitance of this entire circuit? Let's say between points A and B. For capacitors in parallel, the equivalent capacitance is simply the sum of the capacitors. So it's C1 plus C2. It's 10 plus 20. So in this case, it's 30 microfarads. What about this circuit? Let's say if we have two capacitors in series. What is the equivalent capacitance of these two capacitors? Let's say the first one has a value of 8 microfarads, and the second one also has a value of 8 microfarads. What's the equivalent capacitance? Well, here's the formula that you need. In series, 1 over CEQ is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So solving for CEQ, just raise both sides to the minus 1 power. So therefore, the equivalent capacitance is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 raised to the minus 1. It turns out that if you have two capacitors in series, and if they have the same value, the equivalent capacitance is going to be half of that value. So in this case, they both have an equivalent value of 8 microfarads. The equivalent capacitance is going to be 4. So if you take your calculator and type this in the, exactly the way you see it, 1 over 8 in parentheses plus 1 over 8 raised to the minus 1, you're going to get 4. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is 2 over 8. And 2 over 8 to the minus 1 is equivalent to 8 over 2. Whenever you raise something to the negative 1 power, you can flip the fraction. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so you get half of the value. It turns out that as you add capacitors in a parallel circuit, the equivalent capacitance goes up. But as you add capacitors in a series circuit, the equivalent capacitance goes down. Now what about if we have three capacitors in series? So let's say the first one has a value of 20 microfarads and the second one is going to be 10 microfarads and the third one 5 microfarads. Let's call this C1, C2, and C3. So go ahead and calculate the equivalent capacitance of these three capacitors. So in a series circuit all you need to do is use this equation. It's 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 divided by C3 and raised to the minus 1. So just plug it in. It's going to be 1 over 20 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 5. Now if you type this in exactly the way you see it in your calculator, hopefully you have a scientific one, this is what you're going to get. It's going to be 20 over 7 as a fraction and as a decimal, it's about 2.857 microfarads. Now let's move on to our next circuit. So let's say if we have a combination of series and parallel circuits. Let's say, well, these two capacitors are parallel to each other, and this one is in series with the other two. Now let's say the first one has a value of 20 microfarads and the second one has a value of 30 microfarads and the third one is 50. So let's call this uh, C1, C2, and C3. What is the equivalent capacitance of this circuit? So let's deal with the ones that are parallel. The ones that are parallel to each other we could simply add the values. The equivalent capacitance is C1 plus C2. 
So 20 plus 30 is 50. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace these two capacitors with an equivalent capacitor. So we're going to write them as one capacitor. So C1 and C2 will form this hybrid capacitor, which is 50 microfarads. C3 is still 50. If you have two capacitors in series, and if they have the same value, then the equivalent capacitance is going to be half of it. So it's going to be 25. This is the final answer for this problem. Let's try another example. So this time we're going to have four capacitors. So calculate the equivalent capacitance between points A and B. Now let's say the first capacitor has a value of 10 microfarads. And these two, let's say it's going to be 5 and 15. And then the next one is going to be, let's say, 20. Calculate the equivalent capacitance. Feel free to pause the video. Let's identify this as C1, C2, C3, and C4. Well, C2 and C3 are parallel to each other. So all we got to do is add the two values to get the equivalent capacitance of C2 and C3. So 5 plus 15 is 20. Now let's redraw the circuit. So C1 is still the same. It's 10 microfarads. C4 is still the same. It's 20. Now C2, let's call it C2, 3. That's the equivalent capacitance of these two. It's 5 plus 15, which is 20. So notice that these three capacitors are in series with respect to each other. The reason why they're in series is because there's only one straight line that connects them. Series have only one path for the current to flow. In a parallel circuit, there's multiple paths. The current can flow this way or it can flow that way. In a series circuit, there's only one path for it to flow. But keep in mind though, DC current does not pass through a capacitor because air is an insulator. The electrons cannot jump from one plate directly to another. So just keep that in mind. So now that we have these three capacitors in series, we can use the equation to get the answer. So CEQ is going to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20 all raised to minus 1. And just type it in your calculator. So therefore, the equivalent capacitance of everything is 5. If you want to do it mentally, notice that these two capacitors are the same. Therefore, since they're in series, the equivalent capacitance of just those two is half of 20, is 10. So if these two is 10, which is in series with another 10, half of that is 5, giving you this answer. Let's try one more example. This might take me some time to draw, so you can uh, fast forward through this part if you want to. So we have a total of seven capacitors. Now let's say that the first one has a value of eight. Actually, that's the second one. Let's say the first one is 20. The second one is eight. The third one we're going to say is two. And then let's say uh, this one is a three. Um, this one's going to be two. And the next one is going to be five. And then this is going to be 20. What is the equivalent capacitance? 
So first, we can add these two. They're parallel, so the equivalent capacitance there is 10. Next, we can combine these three because they're all parallel to each other. You want to get rid of the parallel circuits first because they're easy to deal with. 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10. So now, if we were to redraw the circuit that we have, I'm just going to draw it small. It's going to look like this. This is the first capacitor, and then this is the equivalent capacitance of the 8 and the 2 microfarad capacitor, and this is the equivalent capacitance of the three capacitors over here, and then here's the 20 uh, microfarad capacitor. So this is 20, this is uh, 10, we have another 10, and another 20. So all four capacitors are in series. But let's see if we can do it mentally. So these two are in series. Half of 20 is 10. And these two are in series. Half of 10 is 5. So we have a 10 and 5 in series. So it's going to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 5 raised to the minus 1. 1 over 5 is basically 2 over 10. And 1 over 10 plus 2 over 10 is 3 over 10. 3 over 10 to the minus 1 is basically 10 over 3, which is about 3.33. Now, we can confirm the answer using the equation. The equivalent capacitance is going to be 1 over the first one, 20, plus 1 over the second one, which is 10, plus 1 over 10, plus 1 over 20, which represents the last one. So let's type this in and let's see what answer we get. So this will give you 10 over 3, which is 3.33. So you get the same answer. And so now you know how to calculate the equivalent, um, excuse me, the equivalent capacitance of a circuit. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.